person to make sure I keep relating to people in order for my brain to stay healthy. If I go too introverted, it actually is not good for me. So that's how to, in the zone, it's like, how are you most likely to be when you're functioning really well? And how can you keep your brain in the zone? How do you nourish it so you take care of your mind? And by taking care of your mind could be anything from when you rest, when you eat, what you eat, how you exercise, et cetera, et cetera. Well, mm. yeah, it will tell you. So mine, to nourish my mind, it'll be acknowledge that yes i am quite introverted so it's okay for me to be introverted first of like rather than judge myself and say oh well mm -hmm. i need i should have human contact i shouldn't be not wanting to go out and see anyone like it's like no you're introverted that's normal however you still need to get those hits of oxytocin and connecting hormones so make sure you have a pet that you cuddle make sure you still spend time with people you love so you still get those hormones that are really good for you as well so in a way, if I'm too introverted, which I can do, I can just not see anyone and not care. But <laughs> very good for me. <laughs> that's why I get accused. Like you don't even care, but it says, um, I may seem op open, but generally I'm like deep down, I'm, I'm introverted. Um, but yeah, I will need to make sure I keep my oxytocin levels high. So oxytocin are the bonding hormones that you get when you breastfeed and the bonding hormones. Mm. So hugging loved ones, hugging your pets, um, doing like self-care, being present with people. So mm. I can switch off, I can be with people and just be in the la la land. My my nickname when I was a child was Space Captain, because I'll be there, but I'm in La La Land. <laughs> Not paying attention to anyone, like away in my own thoughts. My parents thought there was something wrong with me. Oh, lovely. Great. Maybe I wouldn't even pass school. They're like, oh, no. But I was just really introverted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh, Sage. I do find it all quite amusing. Oh, it's funny because my twin sister was fiery. She would bite me and get so <laughs> angry and frustrated. And I'd just be in la-la land, like, no, not a care in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> So yeah, those things to do to um, also, for example, mine says um, I can be very determined. Um, I only see I can see things logical, determined. So I can again seem like I don't care, mm. or I'll be detached. So I need to practice to see things from other people's perspective because it's actually good for me to do that, and it helps me to be able to relate to people if I can stop see things from their perspective. So in the zone i'll be very very determined but it's not always a good way to be mm, okay so that's kind of what that one means like what your what's your tendency but then how is it actually going to be more in your favor if you can pay attention to these things mm. um, so the mind section is actually quite complex yeah it's full on so yeah, so it'd be really good for the two of you to sit there and bring yours together and just have discussions about it. So have a look at the different statements on your profiles and the tip that comes underneath it, because that tip will give you guys a key on how to adjust or what to be aware of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really helpful to do it without judgment because there's stuff in there that you can go, Oh my gosh, like, am I a bad person? <laughs> but uh, it's just it's it's how your my your brain or my brain or anyone's brain is just it's just this biological function mm. this activity is really awareness there's no judgment what i'd love if, especially for you guys as a couple and this has worked with three other couples that i have is do this exercise purely to gain awareness and appreciation for yourself and awareness and appreciation for the other person because these are their biological tendencies mm. it's not a hall pass but it also gives you not sometimes an awareness of behaviors you each have that potentially you yourself or your partner may have their own expectations or thoughts around which might just be biologically your behavior right mm -hmm. so then it's like well how can we be aware of that and appreciate the fact that it's your natural tendency and work with that as a couple. Does that make yeah. sense for the both of you? Yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. so. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie's, yeah. Ollie's providing for his children, getting their pudding. Aww. Yeah. Listening in the background. Good, good. I'm 
fighting for mine as well. That's why I'm in and out of the kitchen. I'm doing dinner. <laughs> She's in Perth, so completely different time. Yeah, don't worry. I should have eaten by now. Going <laughs> on to nine o'clock, giving put a dip dessert at this hour. Hello. Oh, my mum was an alcoholic, so we had dinner at this time. So I have no judgment. Yeah. Um. So I don't want to set homework, but. It would thrill the shit out of me to see the two of you have a conversation about your mind section and share, produce, create, be inspired in some way that we can understand what you guys have discussed through that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't yeah. want you to write. No, that would like, be good. If you guys want to write an essay, if you guys want to do a video, if you guys just want to jot down two points or a thumbs up, I don't care. It would be really cool. And it, I think the two of you would get a lot out of it. If you could just go through your mind section yourself and look at your statements and your tips and then discuss it together. Sure. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's just 10 minutes. Yeah. Sounds when good. do the children go to bed? Oh, uh, don't ask. Shortly. <laughs> Shortly. No judgment. No judgment. No judgment. So, because you're both diplomats, when do you think you would be able to have time and space to do that for 10 minutes together? Uh, right now. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> good. Otherwise, it's like, good luck. Yeah. Great. That's great awareness. I get that. Um, Sage and I did something today, and she was like, I oh, didn't have to answer me right away. And I was like, oh, maybe it was Ellie. Someone, I said it to someone, they were like, Right, and I said, if I don't do it right now, you're not going to get it. So just take it right now. <laughs> Could have been us. We did some work this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's if you know that about each other, I'm, we're going to get off of here and leave you guys yep. to it. Thank you. Find some way. If it's a photo, I don't know, but it'd be really awesome to see what comes up between that conversation with the both of you. Okay. And Ollie, thank you for jumping on. I really, really think that's awesome. That's fine. I hope Doing you had a lot of choice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he had no choice. I said, I'm getting on this call with Shana and Sage, and then I just put the thing in his face. <laughs> oh, poor Ollie's probably got so many questions because he's only just sort of opened the platform, right? Oh, yeah, I, he yeah. can't wait. And then the next call, just remind him when it is, Shana. Thursday, 9 a.m. or 8 p.m. Okay. We do have a question though, guys. Would 9 a.m. or 12, 12 30 work better? If you were to not do a nighttime one. Yeah, I would. I cannot do 9 a.m. That's just a, the yes, time for me. Cute. I would prefer to do in my lunch hour. Okay. Cool. We're just yeah. getting an idea moving forward of what's working or not working. Sure. What do you reckon? Yeah, lunchtime is probably a better option we don't, no other kids are away at school so there aren't any other things really pressurizing it yeah awesome yep. great that's great feedback thank you so much I think. yeah and thank you both of you love your work talk to you soon ciao bye bye, bye. enjoy arvidecci bye bye <laughs> Come on. Cool. Um.